Welcome to another episode of the Part of My Back Show. It's me, your host, Sebastian West. Follow me on Instagram at underscore Sebastian West, where you can check out my artwork and all of the splendor. If you don't like when I'm kicking, like when I'm spinning, just know we tuned to this. The cloth is different. The final master, Kung Fu Hustle, and I'm going to speak about none other than one of my personal favorite films. It's top five in martial arts. It man. I think this was the, the Donnie Yin uh, introduction to American cinema. This was Donnie Yin's introduction. It Man dropped in 2008. I think I watched it in 2010. I own the film, bought the DVD. It's one of my personal favorites. I've watched it countless amounts of times due to the, the, the writing, the, martial, the, the choreography. Of course, it's Wing Chung. And it has one of the best action scenes that I've seen. One of one of the best. It's top five, honestly. It's definitely top five action scenes. Let's get into this, you know, quick synopsis of the film. Ant Man, father, husband, looking to open up a school, martial arts school. Oh, quick little backstory too. Now. I think I appreciated this movie even more, especially the scene. I'm referring to the scene and I'm going to get back to the movie. This particular scene, what I'm talking about, everybody knows the scene in it, man, where he's punishing people, putting in pain with his hands. He's just, it's like 50 people. He gets them out of here. I remember my Sifu when I was interested in Wing Chun. You know, wanted to learn about it, right? He was, he gave me a test. And then... He asked me a question, first and foremost, about discipline. Are you disciplined? I said, yes, he, did. he tested me if I'm a discipline. I passed that. Then he came with some crackers. He, he had them in his hand. He said, if you're not prepared to turn bones into this, he crumbled the crackers up and turned into dust, he said, you're wasting your time. He said, if you're not prepared to defend yourself and turn bones into that, don't waste your time. Let's get back into it, man, right? Because he was doing that in, in the scene that we, we, we adore. I mean, everybody appreciates the scene. When it was, it was, it, he was. Anywho, let me go back to the movie. So, it, man, husband, father, has a school, opened up a school. He's teaching everybody Wing Chun. And he's for the people. He's the people's champ, you know? Boom. War takes place. Japan. You know, is the conqueror, they take over. He's working in like the, the coal fields, mining coal. Barely making ends meet. You know, faithful husband, faithful father. And they, they have a proposal to him. Like, you know, you can earn more if you teach Japan martial arts. He wasn't with that, right? One of his students, for food. Gets messed up. He was mixing, gets tuned up. My man gets him up out of here. It man's looking for him. He finds out, you know, he gets wind of where this is taking place. He goes there. He sees what happened. My man is beat to a pulp pause. So he kind of, he seeks revenge, you know. And the way they were trying to belittle the people was you get a bag of rice for rumbling. It man was a having that. He was like, I don't want your bag of rice. You know, I, I just came here to prove a point. They didn't like that too much. So they're like, okay, fam, listen, look, you know, we'll give you X amounts of bags. All you have to do is just teach us Kung Fu. That's all you gotta do. Everything will be forgiven. It'll be all good if you just teach us Kung Fu. He wasn't having it. My man's like, yo, get up out of here, man. Who do you think I am? Like, I'm not worried about y'all, you little minions. Like, I teach Kung Fu to who I want to. I'm not teaching it to y'all. And I'm not some, like, some punk that you can, like, barter with me with a bag of rice. Like, I'll be fine with what I have. Pride. He wasn't about to be sold, like, you know what I mean? Some sort, he was shucking and jiving for bags of rice. He wasn't having that. So, move forward. My man challenged him. He's like, you know what? It, man, just... He mops the floor with these dude, one particular dude. You know what I mean? He was like, look, more. More. Like, I don't care. More. Asking him for more people because this is light work. 
It started with one, it was five, then it's ten, and like twenty. He was like, man, more, bring more people. And I'm going to get them all up out of here. He does that. So my man is like, all right, tough guy. I challenge you then. And since I got a proposal, if I cook you, you have to teach Japan Wing Chun. If you win, I'll let you go. I'll let you go. And of course things didn't transpire like that. You know what I mean? Of course my man flipped on him and he didn't keep his worry flipping on him like Flat Jackson Sunday morning. His like lieutenant went to his crib threatening his kids, threatening his wife. I mean he pulled a blicky on his son. He pulled a blicky on him. So it man had to, you know. <laughs> he got <laughs> broke my man's neck on the stairs because he pulled a blicky on his whiz. Well, first, no, well, he put a blicky on his youngin', he came home, and then he had the creepy eyes for his whiz, so you know he had to get him up out of here. That's, he's not, it's not happening. You pulled the blicky on, you know, got my man up out of here. They got wind of that, so now he knew it was trouble. He knew it was some trouble, so immediately he went to Sun, you know, they got into a little fisticuffs, the final scene got into a little fisticuffs, and of course, he could have killed him, but he didn't, he spared him. Show mercy, he spared my man. He spared him. He could have cooked him, but he didn't. Spared my man to let him know, listen, I'm that guy. They tried to, sh they shot my mans and all that. Tried to murk him. All that. He stood with honor. He didn't fold like a futon in a college dorm. He didn't fold. Never that. He stood tall, defending his people. And that was the climax of the film. Remember, slow run is better than no run. Was meant for you ain't gonna miss you. If you don't like my reviews, cut me some like If that ain't good enough, pardon my back. And last but not least, always remember, let all things be done decently and in order. I'm up out of here, man. Like, share, subscribe. Hold it down. Salute.